when I started doing Gift, um, I was one of the first people that was doing a Waterford accent right. on national radio. Mm. And I started doing this Waterford accent. You know right. what I'm talking yeah, about, boy? Yeah. Because I was used to hearing this when I was growing up, you know. Right. You know, I'm not doing any character now. I'm literally doing that is Waterford, a Waterford yeah. accent. You know, right. do you want your go, boy? I lay you out, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of was thinking about it the other day, knowing that we were going to talk about this, and I went, well, where did these accents come from anyway? Yeah. Because, funny enough, these accents that we're going to talk about in the next few minutes, not all of them come from even Ireland. Hmm. Some of them are, you know, influenced by the whole world around us. So I was thinking about Waterford and I was speaking to somebody down in Waterford um, at the weekend and we were talking about a name like de Butler, like Butler, which Butler, is a real right? Waterford Butler, name yeah. and it's a real Norman name. Yeah, yeah. And if you pronounce the, 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 the name properly and you're from Waterford, you go de Butler. De Butler. De Butler. Yeah. And you're there, de Butler boy. De Butler. And you say, Leer, Leer, yeah. Leer. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling my R's like a yeah. Frenchman. So that there is a French influence you're saying there, in the, So in other words in yeah. the Waterford accent yeah. the kind of rolling R's the but Leo boy Leo <laughs> It's a French thing. Yeah. And then I suppose you know you'd go you know along the the borders of Moon Coin and all this sort of stuff yeah. in Ferrybank you know you'd flatten it out a bit. Right. You'd flatten it out slightly. <laughs> And, uh, well, and still a French influence there now. I don't think so. I think <laughs> the French weren't interested in Kilkenny. <laughs> and, and of course, one of the most interesting voices, and it's kind of a, people say it's a singy kind of voice. And mm. you spent you went to school in Cork, yeah. So Cork is a, gr- a great accent, but there are different that's Cork right. accents. I mean, yeah. I mean, again, that's right. I, again, I'm not. That's right. Again, I'm not an expert in. <laughs> but um, I mean, I've obviously went to school in Cork, mm. and I grew up in uh, my, my secondary school in Cork, and um, I obviously was exposed to to the Cork accent, and I remember. Mimicking it the moment I went to Cork, you right. cannot but it's this, it's a pleasure. Yeah. So you're singing after day two. Yeah. But then I realised obviously there was different types of accents in Cork, and I was you know, and so I was I actually interviewed uh, two guys recently called the two, two Norris. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the I two Norris, and they're they're from the north side of Cork, Mario. Right, okay. So like Mario, when you're doing us, like, <laughs> are you like really doing us? <laughs> or are you? Or am I doing you doing oh. me? Right. Because you could just slow down. Just, and just a small bit yeah. there. Yeah. And then you'd hear other fellas from Cork, maybe in the media yeah. and stuff like that. And they'd be like, oh, yes, I'm from Cork. And I'm kind of like that. And that's they'd be posh now. They sound they'd be posh. Much, m- much better. They, I mean, Cork people would often call it that Mont Naughty thing. Right. And there'd be versions of that. So then you could kind of maybe, you know, Neil Prenderville it down a bit. And, you know, he's, <laughs> he's obviously a kind of a, a well-spoken Cork man. So right. that middle class Cork. So you're not exactly doing Mont Naughty, but you're, yeah. you're kind of poshifying it a little bit. <laughs> uh, and not go on all north side or, or Knocknaheeny or Mayfield or anything like that you know I know what you're saying so Cork has lent its influence to other areas of the, of the world yes. remember I spoke to you we spoke about this like yeah, Barbados, yeah. Barbados and Jamaica the man Indies, yeah. how's it going boy yeah. uh, you know. that's a fact people that don't is believe a fact. that that's real Cork yeah. missionaries went to Barbados yeah, yeah. boy how's it going boy and that's when you're in Barbados you'll hear a fella talking like that Yeah, you know and he could just as easily be from Fair Hill Speaking of Charlie. Oh, that Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Kevin then is on top of Dundalk. Yeah. So you'd have like Dundalk is obviously yeah. there. Right. Ain't Ostella. <laughs> Kick um, the bottle. Man the town. <laughs> and then it kind of livens up a bit right. as it goes up north. <laughs> it kind of gets a bit of jizz in it. Yeah, yeah. It's like as if the higher it gets in the country, the more pork it gets. <laughs> the more pork. Bit of jizz yeah, going on I there. rode the Hulk five times, so I did. <laughs> That's right. I rode him. I rode him well. And so, Kevin Monaghan, yeah. I don't know the difference entirely. The Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show. Great company, great laughs, and the music you love. Today FM. It all happens here.